Make today iconic. What is up, guys? It's Upcom Sports here with the Detroit Pistons Super Realistic Rebuild final part of this series. Here are the objectives for the Pistons in this one. I decided to trade Kuzma and Oladipo, but if you guys have not seen the entire playlist, then make sure to click the link in the description. And we do have a first round pick here, and it is going to be in the lottery, so we'll see what happens there. And we also have actually, that's it. So here we are going to be trading Kyle Kuzma, who has, I believe, one year left on his deal. Average 18 points per game, about six and a half rebounds. He does. He has a player option after that, but the Jazz need a small forward. They're starting Royce O'Neal there. He's making about seven mil, so Noah Vonley just makes the cap work, and he's also making a lot of money, so he might be a little bit overpaid. So we're going to get the eighth pick in exchange for Kuzma, who is definitely a star in this league at this point, point. and as you guys can see... The Jazz really need a small forward bad, so not too bad right there. And we're also going to be sending Victor Oladipo to Portland, who does not have CJ McCollum anymore. He only averaged 15 points per game, but he's still a very good defender. And we also had a lot, in, a lot of scoring options, so it makes sense that his scoring numbers would be down. Caleb Swan again and Anthony, Anthony Simons. Nothing too big that the Blazers are giving up. And also a future first, which is protected. So they do need a shooting guard. And Damian Lillard needs some help out there. He's really the only star on that team. So we are going to draft Martin Haley here, an athletic shooter out of Connecticut. He's 6'8 for the small forward position. So he's pretty big. And we'll see what he can do out there. Hopefully with the 8th pick, he turns out to be at least an all-star. And with the 14th overall pick, our pick, we're going to select a shooting guard, 6'7 out of Washington, Marcus Eaton. He looks to be an athletic slasher, drives to the basket. And hopefully he can improve on his shooting and he can be an all-around shooting guard. Here's the roster after those trades. RJ Hampton is now our best player. Bull Bull. Blake Griffin is regressing. Patrick Baldwin. So I don't expect us to do good at all this season. This is a rebuild season right here. So if we can get another top pick, that would be nice for us. Maybe get a shooting guard or a power forward to replace Blake Griffin. If not, then we'll have to make a trade. But hopefully we don't have to. Here's the rotation. Nothing too special, as I said. Don't expect us to make the playoffs this season, but definitely the fans in Detroit are getting a little bit antsy to make the playoffs. We haven't made the playoffs, I believe, this whole video, so. So at the All-Star break, it looks like RJ Hampton does make the All-Star team, so definitely improving right there, and I don't see any anyone else. And here at the trade deadline, we're going to check out how we're doing. We are currently 27 and 27, so we're a lot better than I expected. We're currently the eighth seed in the East. So if we can make the playoffs, that would be fine with me. But if we tank, that's also fine with me. We get a top pick. So this season, Zion Williamson for the Knicks is going to win MVP. Uh, we don't know the rookies. D'Angelo Russell, sixth man on the Hawks. And also Quinn Schneider, coach of the year. But checking out the All-NBA teams. It looks like RJ Hampton does make the All-NBA third team, averaging 20 points per game and also almost 7 assists, 1.7 steals, nothing too bad right there. And all rookie teams, no one on our team. But checking out the standings, we barely missed the playoffs as the ninth seed. So back-to-back -back seasons being the ninth seed. But I definitely did not expect that from this team. I expected it to be a lot worse. Last season when we had Oladipo, Kuzma, Blake, and all our guys, I expected us to be in the playoffs, so that was a letdown. Not this season, though. Checking out the player stats, it looks like Patrick Baldwin definitely improving his shooting numbers. And all of our guys really once getting the opportunity. So it looks like the Knicks and MVP Zion Williamson are going to take on the Kings in the finals. We'll see who takes it here. And it looks like the Kings are going to take down the Knicks. Tough loss there. So here in the draft lottery, we're probably going to have the 12th pick. And we also have the Blazers pick, which is not as good as I would have hoped. It is in the 20s. So with the 12th overall pick here, we're going to select Manny Rodriguez out of Puerto Rico, an international shooting guard. He's 6'5", so he looks like a really good defender. Can probably be an elite defender in his prime, so we'll take him. 
And then with the Blazers pick, we're going to select Otis Christie out of Washington, a 6'9 power forward, 222 pounds to maybe replace Blake Griffin because Blake is definitely regressing at this point. I believe he's 36. So the roster here, RJ Hampton is now a 90 overall, definitely doing good. Bobo's an 88, Patrick Baldwin an 87. So by the end of this season, we could have three 90 overalls in Bowl Bowl, Patrick Baldwin, and RJ. So that would be nice. Cody Clemens is going to start at shooting guard for us. And then Kennard is our sixth man. So we will send, I guess, Manny Rodriguez. Actually, no, we'll send Otis Christie to the G League. And I think that's it. And then coaching will stay the same. So we didn't have any all-stars this season, but here at the trade deadline, we are 23 and 31. So we're definitely worse than last season. I don't know how that's possible when our young guys are just getting better and we didn't really add or subtract anyone from the team, but we'll see. So Anthony Davis, the brow is going to win MVP here. Obviously still on the Pelicans in this one, but Brad Stevens is coach of the year, taking out the all NBA teams. It looks like RJ did not make it this time and no one else on any of the other teams except Manny Rodriguez on the All-NBA second, actually All-Rookie second team, All-NBA second team. Um, and checking out the standings, we were the second worst team in the East right in front of the Raptors. So definitely not good. We will have a top five pick though. So maybe we can trade it to finally compete. I don't know. I think we're going to go all in for next season. And it'll probably be the last season because at this point, I'm just thinking the Detroit Pistons are cursed. So the Pelicans and MVP Anthony Davis are in the finals against the Nets. So we'll see who's going to take it. And the Nets actually sweep them. Josh Jackson finals MVP. Okay, pretty weird. So here in the draft lottery, it looks like we have the fourth odds at the number one pick. And we actually drop one to number five. So we'll see what we do there. So I found a trade that really improves our team. Blake Griffin, one year left on his contract. We're going to trade him. I know I said I wanted to keep him, but it's not really working out. We're going to also trade the 12th overall pick from last season, the fifth overall pick from this season, and two future firsts for Isaiah Todd, who is an 87 overall, averaged 19 points per game for the Clippers. He is a stud on a max deal. So the Clippers, I will show you why this makes sense for the Clippers. They have Tobias Harris and also McLeod, who is a stud. Uh, McLeod averaged 18 points per game. So they do not lose anything by trading Isaiah Todd, except gain a bunch of assets and first round picks, really. So here's the roster after that trade. This will be the final season no matter what happens. And our ultimate goal is to get to the conference finals at least because everything else up to this point has been absolute trash for this franchise. And I've not been able to even get us anywhere close to competitive. So my main goal for this is to even get us to the conference finals. If we can get to the finals, that would be amazing. But we definitely have a good enough team to get there. So... We'll send someone to the G League just in case we do another season, but I doubt we will. And the coach is the same, so we'll see what happens there. So at the All-Star break, we actually have three All-Stars on the team. Patrick Baldwin, RJ Hampton, and Isaiah Todd, who we did trade for. So, And at the trade deadline, coming off of a loss to the Celtics, we are currently 36-17 and 17 as the number one seed in the East. So definitely that trade looks like it's working out for us. And hopefully we can maintain that number one seed. So Zion is going to win another MVP. I don't think it's back-to-back. -back. No, Anthony Davis won it last season, so it's not back-to-back. -back. But two and three years is not bad. And checking out the All-NBA teams. No RJ Hampton, but we do get Patrick Baldwin. Averaging some pretty good numbers. Very solid all around. Defensive teams. Bull Bull finally makes a defensive team. Don't know why he hasn't been making it. But taking out these standings, we were the number two seed. So we did fall off a little bit. But the Celtics are definitely a good team. We we'll be playing the Indiana Pacers in the first round. They don't have Oladipo, obviously. We took them from him. So checking out the stats. Nothing too crazy. I think it's a lot of team effort but checking out the team stats we'll check out 
how we did on offense and defense. On offense, we were the second best, and defensively, we were top 10, so not bad. So in the first round against the Pacers, let's see if we can finally get it done. So we do win game one, and we win game two. Can we get the sweep? We do lose game three. Please don't tie it up. And we go up 3-1. We should be able to close this series out. And we do a win in five games. RJ Hampton with a nice game right there. 23-8. and eight. Ball Ball with a double-double. Also, Isaiah Todd with a double-double. Aaron Holiday flirting with a triple-double for the Pacers, but nothing too special. And in the second round, we're playing the Chicago Bulls. So we'll see if we can finally get to the conference finals. This would be our main goal. Game one, we do take it. Game two, we also win. They win game three. We go up 3-1. And can we win in five again? And we do. So we are in the conference finals. Isaiah Todd with a nice game right there. Two steals, two blocks. And RJ with 24 points. Solid all-around effort. They did have RJ Barrett, Kyrie, um, Wendell Carter, Markinen. So here in the Eastern Conference Finals against the Celtics team that beat us in the playoffs a couple of seasons ago. Can we get it done? We do win game one. Patrick Baldwin, 27. RJ Hampton, 25 points. So game two, can we go up 2-0? They tie it up, 1-1. Tatum with a nice game, 24 from him. Definitely a deep team right here from the Celtics with all the first round picks they had. But Isaiah Todd, a nice game. And it looks like we do have a small injury. And we also go down 2-1. Ball wall with 20 and 15. RJ not really showing up in that one. They also have John Morant, who I forgot. And they have Drummond. So, a little bit of revenge for Drummond. We did trade him away. RJ Hampton with 23. John Morant with 27. We are down 3-1 at this point. Gonna take a strong effort from us to come back in this one. In Boston, can we steal one? And it looks like we might, but they are coming back. We managed to hold on and win by five. RJ Hampton, 19. He hasn't been really going off against the Celtics, but Drummond with a nice double-double right there for the Celtics. So we'll see if we can force a game seven. If not, then we'll probably hop in here. So it is in Detroit. We do have a strong chance, and it looks like we might be getting blown out. So I don't really see us coming back at this point. Under two minutes and we're down 14. Yeah, I don't really give us a chance here, but we're going to go into the post with RJ. Nice little post fade and he gets it to go. Easy bucket right there. But yeah, this Celtics team is pretty good. We're down 12 at this point. It would take a miracle to come back. So we're going to double team Jalen Brown. They get it inside. Bobo with a nice block. And let's get it to RJ. Ooh, who, who are we going to go to? RJ against. I don't even know who that is. Pick and roll here with Isaiah Todd. Nice strong take from RJ. And I believe that's Marcus Smart getting that bucket. So at this point, we're down 12 again. 17 seconds. So we're going to try to get a little pick and roll action. Oh, alley-oop, bull, bull. And the nice finish. So for this game, Patrick Baldwin led us in scoring, 19 points only. Bull Bull with a double-double, RJ with 17, shot 6 for 17, not good at all. And 3 for 8 from 3, so he definitely choked a little bit. But taking out the Celtics, John Moran with 29, Cross with 20, Drummond with 15. Just a very deep team. So it looks like it is a Celtics-Kings finals in this one. And I believe the Kings already won a championship, but it looks like the Celtics are going to take it. John Morant is the finals MVP. So I would classify this rebuild as a 6 out of 10 stars. I would say it was a failure. We really only competed twice in the playoffs. So thank you guys for watching. Make sure to subscribe and leave a comment on who I should do next on the road to 300 subscribers.